Pneumothorax is a name that is derived from two Greek words, pneumo and thorax. Pneumo refers to air and thorax is the chest cavity. When we say pneumothorax, this is an accumulation of air in the pleural cavity. Let's have a look at the basic anatomy of the pleura and the pleural membranes for us to understand pneumothorax well. In a normal human being, we have two types of pleural membranes. The parietal pleura, which lines the thoracic cavity, and the visceral pleura, which lines the lung cervix. In between these two membranes, we have a potential space which has a negative pressure. This space is known as the pleural space or the pleural cavity. In any case of accumulation of air within this pleural cavity, it's what's known as pneumothorax. Classification of pneumothorax. Pneumothorax can be classified as open or closed, and also we can break it down into other types such as traumatic pneumothorax, tension pneumothorax, and spontaneous pneumothorax. Then spontaneous pneumothorax can be classified as primary spontaneous pneumothorax and secondary spontaneous pneumothorax. Okay, what is primary spontaneous pneumothorax? This is a type of pneumothorax that occurs without any underlying lung disease. And when we say a secondary spontaneous pneumothorax, we mean a type of pneumothorax which occurs as a result of an underlying lung pathology. In these cases, there is a damaged alveolar pleural barrier. Traumatic pneumothorax is a type of pneumothorax caused by a penetrating trauma or injury into the chest cavity. This penetrating injury can be either a gunshot wound or a stab injury. Spontaneous pneumothorax and traumatic pneumothorax can complicate and lead to the development of what's known as tension pneumothorax. In tension pneumothorax, there is an air entry into the pleural space during inspiration, but this air fails to get out during expression. It forms something that's known as a ball valve effect. In these cases, there is a progressive accumulation of air into the pleural space, resulting in the collapse of the affected lung and a shift of the mediastinal structures to the opposite and affected side. With a continued accumulation of air in the pleural space, there is compression of the contralateral lung, impairment of the venous return, there is a decreased cardiac output and signs of cardiovascular collapse which require immediate intervention with an hydrotracostomy. This is the reason why tension pneumothorax is an emergency.